Welcome back, my friends, and let's go survive the volcano in Magic 2014. I'm looking forward to this. It reminds me of, uh, Survive the Royal, and I'm thinking it might have some, uh, similar traits. I do hope so. At the volcano's rim, you hear mad chanting across the crater. The mountain begins to heave beneath your feet, and lava bursts from giant glowing fissures all around you. This isn't going to be easy. I use lava too, fuckers. Green has the biggest creatures. They're generally true. Um, this is not a good starting hand. Actually, this, uh... Wouldn't be a good starting hand were it not for a wild guess, which might make up for it. I think I'm willing to give this a shot, because I can use this on my second turn, and discard one of my big things that I won't be able to use anytime soon. I could even discard a phoenix, which I could then later get back, especially if it's Chandra's phoenix. So let's try this. Let's give it a, let's give it a fair shake. I hadn't actually occurred, I thought about uh, using Wild Guess to, to uh, put a phoenix into the graveyard until just then. It's not the best place for a phoenix, but uh, they're better in the graveyard than many other cards are. Oh, another goblin mountaineer. Okay, so we're still dealing with creatures, we're still dealing with goblins, good to know. Good to know. Better to know than not to know. Wild Guess. Have a Chandra's phoenix. Confirm. I'll get that back as soon as I play an instant or a sorcery that damages someone. And it gave me another land. I'm happy with that. That's gonna help me stay on the mana curve. And it also gave me a low-cost creature that I can play. It did not unfortunately give me an instant or sorcery. That would have been pretty ideal. Okay. Torch Fiend is a good thing to have. Fire Shrieker is a pretty good thing to have. Torch Fiend I should get first. I, I'm almost forgetting that this isn't the same encounter. Yeah, Torch Fiend I should get first for the sake of having another blocker out if he plays something that I can in fact block. I don't know what's going to happen. Isn't that exciting? I'm going to get attacked by the Mountaineer. That's not surprising in the slightest. Are you going to play any more blockers? No, you're not, which means I can attack you with my Torch Fiend. Glad. I'm quite pleased that I can attack you with my Torch Fiend. I can also bring out the Firewing Phoenix, which I am always pleased to be able to bring out. And, uh, the Inferno is not an instant that I will be able to play anytime soon. But, you know, it's it's uh, it's a useful tool. It could be a, a valuable commodity in my arsenal. If uh, I'm ever in desperate enough straits that it would uh, do me more good than harm to use it. Because it will certainly do me harm. Magma Spray. Two damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Ooh. He's probably going to use that on my phoenix. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Then I can't get my phoenix back. Don't do that. Aww. My flowering phoenix. I won't be able to use that one for the rest of this game. I think I've got another one, but still, that sucks. Lava hounds. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's powerful! 4-4, four, four. when it enters the battlefield, it deals 4 damage to you. And it has haste. So this is going to enter the uh, battlefield, deal 4 damage to me, and then attack me for 4 damage. <coughs> because I have no blockers. Since my firebird is dead. How did you even? How did you? You have 4... Excuse me. You have 4 mountains over there. How did you cast both that... What? Oh. Somehow I got confused. I was just gonna... How, how did it cast both that spell and that one? I guess it did that at the end of my turn or something. <sighs> I 
I am upset. Chandra's Outrage would be a pretty good answer right now, though. Yeah, I definitely want to get rid of that creature. I would certainly like to deal two damage to you, and I would very much like to get my Chandra's Phoenix back. Well, uh... That, that kind of dealt with uh, at least a fair portion of my problems. Huh. I'll attack you for two. Either lose your Mountaineer or lose the two health. Your choice. Lose the Mountaineer. I'm fine with that. The Mountaineer was going to cause me far more trouble in, uh, in the future than this costs me now. Survive the volcano. What's it going to throw at me next? A fire elemental. I've got one of those. A 5-4. It doesn't have haste, but it is a dangerous opponent. This is, uh, hmm. How am I going to deal with that? Find out next time on the next Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to end this just yet. Um, I, I could play Chandra's Phoenix, but it wouldn't help me deal with that so much. I mean, I could block it. I could delay it. It could kill it if it had double strike. This is a true fact. I can't cast them both at the same time, though. They both, co they both cost three. I guess I will play the Pilgrim's Eye, and then play the mountain that it gives me, and then I will do something else next turn, but I'll probably throw the copter in front of that big thing so that I don't get hit with it this turn. If I get another mountain next time, then I'll probably play both the equipment and the phoenix. Either that or possibly I'll just use an inferno. Fucking lava hounds. Okay, yeah, inferno is definitely my choice at this point. Volcanic hammer. Three damage to target creature or player. You're gonna kill my aerophopter, aren't you? Yes, you are. I don't like this. And at this point, uh, Inferno would kill me. So that's no longer an option. Much though I would love for it to be. Inferno Titan is an option. Fire Elemental. I could bring out my own Fire Elemental! <laughs> that would be fighting fire with fire, wouldn't it? Um... Uh, Inferno Titan would be a good blocker. It might allow me to survive this turn. Or it might not. I can only deal three damage, so this is only going to be effective if I deal it to the player. If you bring in another fire hounds, uh, lava hounds rather, then I'll be dead, but, uh... Volcanic fallout. Two damage to each creature and each player. How can we outrun the sky? Well... I think that sealed my fate. Yeah, because either one of those getting through is now gonna kill me instead of just both of them getting through. Well... That was a quick fight. Serpent Stare failed. Come back next time and we'll try this shit again.